Celtic do require, Gordon, a big response. Dominic Mackay starts his new job tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just trying to take in everything I've heard for the last five guys there, and I'm trying to <laughs> um, give a, a, as an alternative view. I don't agree with... Well, I agree with mostly everything that everybody's put in. They're good points. <laughs> Let's get that right. We'll go back to it again. McGregor was the man of the match, and the sitting midfield player was the man of the match. So Celtic must have been doing things right. And I agree to a certain extent that in the middle of the park could have went in. Once they got wide into wide positions, whether it be fullback or Aribo and Kent, they did much more with that. That was the difference, I thought. We got much more of that. That was going on there. But from a Celtic point of view, a couple of goals could have been stopped. That's for sure. If they thought about it, kept their focus, they could have stopped their goals. That's for sure. Uh, uh, so the rest there, and it's not like... It, Rangers, this now, this team, have suddenly decided they're the only team that's ever had any get up and put them and drive and want it them more. Because they've been behind for nine years of wanting it more. So don't just suddenly t tell me they've wanted it more than all these guys out there. So it's an embarrassment to say, well, they wanted it more than any of the guys out there. Because I know there's boys in there trying. And to, they had to be trying to get all these chances. So let's calm down a wee bit. And we also don't know that Ayer's leaving, Edward's leaving, and that one's leaving. It's all hearsay. So we're all just chucking hearsay in here. Reality It's going to be hard to keep them, though, isn't it, if they don't sign new deals, Gordon? Well, that's up to them. Signing new deals are the good deals they make. And you might actually bring players in. Celtic have always brought players in, and so have Rangers, to keep it going and keep it going. Because people want to come here. Um, so it's not a complete disaster for one side, as I keep saying to you, that and McGregor. Man of the match, brilliant. And that's what we're saying, we get, but you know, to, to win things, you need a top goal, goalkeeper. And Celtic, that's one of the things Celtic have no had. They've been chopping and changing. Centre-backs have been chopping and changing. Full-backs have been chopping and changing. So that's been a problem. But again, the, the, the arguments you go back to these guys at the beginning of the season, when they had, they had their heads turned, some moved on, some didn't. And some, it took a long time to recover. So that's something, as a manager of a club, you have to put that in your locker and remember, that never happens again. No idea what the rest of the points were up there for them guys. Are, but, <laughs> you know, I'm sure I could bring an alternative kind of argument yeah. to it. But because you've got to look at a bigger picture. For, as I get it, one of the things I, I, I kind of get annoyed of, I was a Celtic player, then suddenly McGregor, Brown, all these people, Christie, who've been winning things for now, and they've suddenly become weak personalities. I think that's wrong to say that to tar everybody with that brush to get nine championships or quadruple, treble or something like that. And to suddenly say, well, they're all rubbish and the other team are all great. I don't think anybody's saying that. Certainly when you name that McGregor and Brown and, and we Ryan Christie, who I know, but I do think that... Um, no, it's just on a wee rant there. I know, I know. <laughs> but, you know, I actually felt for Brown there and McGregor. And Brown's coming to the end of an illustrious Celtic career. He's been absolutely... He deserves better than that. He deserves... I think Celtic have lost good players and they've seen other players come in the door and they boys have no think, well, they're not as good as the ones that have left. And that has a demotivating effect on them. The goalkeeper situation, Foster, none of the three of them could hold, light a candle to, uh, to him. He goes, so they're no strong there. They lose a lot of goals to set plays. Goalkeeper's a huge part of that. Mm. And I do think the likes of Scott Brown, he was given everything there, McGregor. You know, and there wasn't a lot in the game. And I do think Celtic were well set up today. I do think, tactically, there wasn't a lot in the game at all. But... At the end of the day, Rangers look as if they've got a strength, a stability about them as a club, and it is transferring onto the performance. Well, listen, the pitch. I'd agree with their front three look like they have explosive energy at the moment and a, and a, and a core strength and turning people where Celtic have to work their way through with a lot of passes. They've got individuals. I mean, the second goal, for instance, we keep, we'll talk about how he should have went there, that one. Ryan Kent was magnificent. He turned Brownie in the middle of the park. He was brave going into something. He took a knock, the ball went out wide. That's explosive stuff that they have got at the moment that Celtic haven't got at the moment, and they have to find that again. If you look back years ago, we had Sinclair, Roberts, Forrest, all these people that could go and isolate people and do things. That's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Forrest was a huge miss today. Rangers have tweeted after the game, I believe, John, saying they've beaten the best team in the league today, obviously in reference to the John mm -hmm. Kennedy comments, so that's not been missed on well, them. Well, they beat them all season, mm -hmm. not just today. Rangers have beat Celtic all season, and... We haven't touched on recruitment yet, and to play for Celtic, Gordon knows because he's managed here, and Derek's managed for a long time. To play for Celtic, all ranges, you've got to be a certain type. You've got to be a certain character. You've got to have a winning mentality. Um, and you look at the recruitment. Celtic have had that winning mentality for nine years, but you look at the recruitment. 
this year. We talked about the, we haven't got a decent goalkeeper. Scott Bain played today. People have been saying they don't think he's good enough to continue in goal for Celtic. They'll need a goalkeeper. Ayeti, no pass marks. Duffy, not up to pass marks. Laxalt, not up to pass marks. I could go on. So in terms of going and replacing a lot of these players that won't be here next season, they have to be of a certain quality. You can't just say, well, bring in player for player, yeah. position for position. How much money will the new manager have to spend? Because good players now cost a lot of money. So recruitment is absolutely it's vital. Thing, and they've not got the good, recruitment good people, right this season. Good people as well as good yeah, players, John. Absolutely. In a crisis, you stand I agree, up. a certain type to good come people. And, and by the way, I think, as, as, as Derek alluded to, Brown's give it his all, McGregor's give it all, and it looks like the games have caught up on them. And Callum will come back again, and Chris did as well. But there's a point in the season where we needed the boys that have been backing up for the last couple of seasons to come to the fore and give them a bit of rest. I think they've got to ask questions about themselves. And that's the what people who, the, who've the only played 15 yeah. games a season come on the subs and everybody asks why they're not playing. Because when you govern on their games, yeah. they, can't, they cannot get up to the standards you need to be playing week in, week out. So I do feel sorry for the, the guys that Derek mentioned that have been doing it all the time, all the time. Mm. And they need help. Some of these boys, you cannot go 400, 300 games, 200 games without having a rest. Yeah, and the help they've been given, I've just mentioned five or six players, but haven't been, been at yeah. the level. But it's not just the recruitment, John. It's boys that have been there for mm. a long time as well, who you needed. Right, lads, you've been played 20 games, 30 games a season. Can you play 40? Can you play 50? Mm. Oh, sorry. No, we only we only play now and then. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a big thing to be... It's OK being a Celtic, but can you do it week in, week out, yeah. playing 50 games a season? And that's what the Rangers boys have done. So I'll go back to them and get a, a, a whole month. They've been a better team and a better attitude throughout the season. They def deserve to win it. And by the way, they showed sides of this, this form two years ago when they, they, were, they were looking really good, but Celtic went on a, a real good run when Edward and Christie went and they had a three months. Mm -hmm. But I thought before that, Rangers gave them a good fight as well. So it's not just come out this season. There was threats here previous season. 